What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, what's he doing, people? Hello, beautiful people. Good morning. My husband just left. Oh, Chippy says hello. Chippy, do you say hello? You say hello to the vlog. Yeah, you do. It's so sleepy. Are you sleepy? Yeah, she's like, Mommy woke me up at 3.45. I, my husband went back into, it's not back, my husband went into the field, so he's gonna be gone all week. It's exciting. Is your finger? It's all sore. We have so much to do and he's not here. That's okay. It's it's all gonna be okay. Cause I can only do what I can do, huh Chippy? You can only do what you can do. And then we just gotta give the rest up, huh? We can only control what we can control. And then everything else, it just is what it is, huh? Yeah. Welcome to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I am April Lauren, and I am a little over halfway on my journey to lose 200 pounds, leaving in the process of moving, and I'm training for my first ever half marathon. Yeah. Yeah, you beautiful girl. Anyway, yeah. So, I wasn't planning on recording or anything, but then I looked up the workouts for this week. So, my week is gonna be interesting. I um I ran four days last week too. So was it last week the first week or last week or the week before? I think it was last week was the first time I had four runs in a week. Up to that point it was only three and then we jumped to four, but I feel like it's really fast that we're jumping to higher mileage. So last week it was like a two, two and a half, a three, and then a six. This week, it is a three, two and a half, three, and then a seven. So, <laughs> I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated by my run schedule this week. On the upside, Saturday was my long run. I did six miles. I definitely did it slower than I had anticipated. Like, I always run slow. I run so slow. But Saturday, I practice fueling. I probably already talked about this, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I literally stopped, like I stopped, and none of that's gonna fly on race day. Like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to just practice and not do that, not do that. I did not anticipate being like weird about, I, was not, I, don't, I don't know if it's weird, but like I was, it was awkward. So we'll see how that is going forward. But yesterday, my rest day by like 7 p.m., like I had like an itch to run. Like I really wanted to go for a run and I made myself not. Like that is not on the schedule today, so we are not doing that. But like my body was like ready to, to go. I guess I just got really good sleep and really good rest and my body was like recharged and ready to 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 go so that is definitely something i enjoy about only doing strength training a few days a week before i never took adequate rest and now that i am learned a lesson like i learned how important and what it is what rest and recovery is i don't think i fully understood it before, like the effects of it on my body. And now I do. It's a great feeling when my body's like, let's go. <laughs> and um, so that was that was exciting and unexpected yesterday for me to, to feel that way. This is gonna be an interesting week. It's gonna be a great day. And it is a way in Wednesday video. So I still need to go away. I just woke up so early this morning. I haven't eaten or drinking anything yet though. Um, so we got up at 3.45. My husband left at about 4.30. And I am watching this show called The Last of Us. It's pretty good. I hear birds outside. I'm so squirrel. There's like so many things that I'm just like Meh.
Well, classes were really good today. I really enjoyed teaching. I'm gonna miss it so, so much. Um, I'm about to go to a car, like an auto body shop and get an estimate on a small repair I need done on the outside of my car, but then also see if they can attach one of those um, snap I just completely forgot what it's called but where you can pull things to your car so like it's a hitch that's what it is to add like a hitch to the car so that we can pull a small trailer um yeah so let's let's go do that <laughs> it was as though he were begging to be reassured well that wasn't too bad what was bad was I had to drive around a lot apparently Google is not up to date on where all the body shops were located. So I went to two that did not exist anymore. Then I went to one and they're like, we take appointments for that starting at the end of February. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that's not going to work. And um, then I was just driving around and I like trying to find this one and I found another one and I pulled in and they were really quick to give me a quote. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm also, did I say this earlier? I think I did, getting a hitch put on the back. So that way we can pull a small trailer. It'll help with military moving and such. So fun stuff. Anyway, I know I have cleaning and work to do and a three mile run. So <sighs> do we want to go outside? Yeah, we want to go outside. All right. <laughs> Very excited to go outside. How many goodly creatures are there here? The singing words mocked him derisively running I have not been on this trail in a long long time so I've come out to this park before but I've only done the ones that are pet friendly so this is actually a bike trail but I used to walk on it and now I'm gonna run on it so all right three miles I feel ready for this week I don't know how it's gonna go Having my husband not at home and having so much things that we need to do that he has to do just because he's the person in the military is such a struggle and it has. I don't know if I've shared this, but he got the orders while he was gone. So it's so bad for him because it was worse for him. While I did get to start on some things like getting appointments for our dog, carrying even further down stuff in our house. But The mood is stressful and I'm grateful that I have this running because the running brings some excitement and every single time I do better than I did the last week and that can mean so many different things. I don't do better with everything, you know, I have a lot of things where I roll back a little but there's always notable improvement and that makes me feel so good. That being said, let's get into the weigh-in for this week. This week I weighed in at 248.2, so just over half a pound down, bringing my total loss to 104.6. So very happy for that. Everything feels better. Like moving feels better. I feel better. I feel strong and feeling strong and capable makes me feel really good. That has nothing to do with the scale. It has everything to do with, with the progress that I'm making with my running.
cannot believe tomorrow is the last day of January. One month of 2023 is essentially done. That is wild. Time just, time just flies by. Time just flies. And it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. So we are going for our little evening walk and they're killing me. <laughs> Julio keeps marking everything. That is a newer thing for him. And Chipper just wants to be where he is. So she's like pulling me. So come on, 